Hey guys, Sabrina here, and today I'm going to be introducing a brand new series to you guys. This series is where I redesign some Steam profiles. So the whole premise is I find somebody whose profile needs upgrading, and I go in, see what they need, and try to upgrade it for them. So I'll be using like After Effects, Photoshop, Illustrator, all that sort of stuff to upgrade their Steam profile. Now, I'm not going to be remaking their whole profile. The whole premise is that I try to upgrade it. So I'm just going to point out some little things I think could use some changing, like say a bit more animation here and there, maybe turn back some things and see what I can do, but I will be remaking it from scratch. Anyway, to start off this series, I'm going to be redoing my friend Arise's Steam profile. As you can see on the screen, about here right now, back in 2015 or 2016, I made this original Steam profile and I feel like it could really use an upgrade. I don't have the files anymore, but let's see what I can do. Anyway, let's jump into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is look at his profile and go over what needs changing. So the first thing I can spot instantly is that it needs to be a longer artwork showcase and that the sidebar needs to be a part of the background rather than just these random little images on the side for his favorite teams. Second thing I notice is that the loop time is pretty fast. So you can see it's probably not even more than a second really. You can see when the fire pulses again. Well, that's like a second at most and it is a very noticeable loop you can obviously tell when it loops due to this fire and a bit of the rain i believe the third thing i want to change is that these cards i reckon we could get a bit of movement in those and do a bit of uh, shading to make it look a bit more connected to the scene and i reckon what else we'll do is we'll edit his profile picture to be more in line with the background's tone and the rest of the artwork showcase so let's jump into photoshop Inside of Photoshop, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making some playing cards. So this is to fit with the theme of his old profile still. So I'm going to be making these 100% from scratch using some grunge textures and his logo, of course. And you may not have seen it just then, but I made a bit of a ripped card on the right hand side there. And now I am making my own little special card just as a little Easter egg. This took longer than I expected because I didn't really do it in the most clean and reversible way. So make sure that you're using masks and non-destructive editing when you're doing this sort of stuff. Inside of After Effects, what we're doing is we are placing all the cards in the scene. So I'm using the 3D camera settings and that makes it so I can get the depth that I'm looking for a lot easier without all the fiddling around. So you can see I'm placing all the cards right now and trying to get something that looks good. I'm animating them all slightly, getting them to twist and move a bit to give it a bit of movement, which is one of the things I wanted to improve with the original profile. So this took a lot of time, uh, just keyframing and getting it to the point where I liked it. So here I'm making some background cards because obviously if you have too much movement, the file size is going to be too large. And that's actually an issue I still ran into later down the track. So I didn't want to have too many moving things around bumping up the file size. So Arise said he wanted a bat signal with his logo in it instead of the Batman from the original one that I made for him. So that took a while to fiddle around with and get it all working. And I did animate that, but I later reversed it because of the issue with file sizes. So now I'm just refining everything. I'm adding lighting in the background, some particles for rain and all that fun jazz. Just giving all those finishing touches I need before I export. Now you can see that I'm actually extending the size of the canvas so that I can add the sidebar to the side, which allows all the elements that are in that initial composition to be visible in the right hand side side panel, which makes it all flow together and look like one big piece on your profile. So when I actually came to exporting it as a GIF, the side panel was fine, but the main panel got up to 30 megabytes and Steam only allows you to upload eight megabytes. So I tried all these different strategies to try to reduce the file size, but what I had to do was go back into After Effects and actually get rid of all these extra details, such as less rain, uh, less moving objects to get it down to eight megabytes, which was unfortunate, but you just have to do these things sometimes. Anyway, so it's about time I show you guys the finished profile. So 
So tell me what you think. Did you enjoy this video? Did you think I improved the profile or did I ruin the profile? Let me know in the comments down below. If you want the chance for your profile to be revamped, make sure to follow me on Instagram and like my most recent post. I'll go through my likes and select one random person and I'll send you a message through Instagram. So make sure you're checking that. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. It's great to be back and I'll see you in the next one.